don't hit the house for God's sake, Luke. <laughs> okay, that's something that's been it. Good morning everybody, welcome to my channel. Thank you for watching, my name is Luke. Hopefully you're doing all right. Uh, thank you very much for the very good and kind words uh, with regards to the last video where I did, um, like it was recorded throughout the week, like day by day, different jobs. Um, so thank you very much. That is something I'm gonna try and do more often. Today, however, is gonna go back to just a single day vlog. Uh, and that is primarily because today I've got one of those rare days where I'm doing something different all day. Uh, well, I say all day, it's probably only half a day. Uh, I've also started just, I've also decided sorry, to start recording now because it's very sunny, as you can see now, the sun is out. But, <laughs> you can't see, but over there, there is a very dark cloud and we are heading that direction. <laughs> so I just wanted to get the, the contrast between two different weather sort of scenarios in, in the video. <laughs> but yeah, um, first thing first, we gotta go get some, I think it was, seven, hang on, 75 to 40 or something. Uh, deliver it to some cottage somewhere, someone's cottage. Um, vague instructions on how to get there, so that's gonna be fun, could be tight. Uh, and then we've got to take some uh, washed ballast to a building site that I've been to before. The only problem is this time it's now saying lower something farm. It, it never said that before. So I'm just going to go into, I've got to go to a company called Vitacress. Been there before, going to go there to the same place and hopefully it's the same, same place. And then we've got to go and deliver some MOT Type 1 to uh, Junction 21 Rugby Pitch Tidworth. I googled it. Can't find it. <laughs> so, I don't know where the rugby pitch in Tidworth is. I know there's a lot of sports stuff in Tidworth. I'm hoping it's gonna be near the, uh, is it the Oval, the Tidworth Oval? Because I've seen some of our trucks there before, um, sort of on the roadworks. They're doing, they're doing roadworks on the crossroads. So I'm hoping it's gonna be there. And we will be passing there shortly. Um, so we'll have a look. Um, something and something Langley, r and Langley, is the, uh, the company I've gotta keep an eye out for. And look, look at this cloud. You're going to start seeing the dark cloud now. Woohoo! That's going to hammer it down in a minute. <laughs> that is a dark cloud over there. I don't know how well it's coming out on the dash cam, but uh, yeah, that's dark. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, let's um, crack on. We've got to head to Thruxton. We're getting loaded at the same place. But like I said, we're delivering to three different places. Um, and then the paperwork says phone the yard. So we'll probably be doing something else after that. So, um, busy day today, lots of different places, all in one day, so it's nice, like I said, it's quite rare. Normally you're just backwards and forwards all the time uh, on one job, so uh, days like this is quite nice, especially for the vlogs. So, let's get going, uh, let's get some miles under us. It's a good hour before we even get to uh, Thruxton, so I'll see you in a bit. in Tidworth. <laughs> so like I said, we're not actually delivering here now, we're just passing through. But there's no harming looking around for said rugby pitch. Huh. I'm gonna assume there's signs out or something somewhere. I don't think it's this end of Tidworth, I think it's down the bottom end. R&W Langley, I think it is, was the company we need to look out for. R&W Langley. Sports Centre, that's down the left. Wellington Sports Centre. There is also a weight limit down there. Okay, so it might be down there, if they say Wellington. 
That's an MJ Church digger. We're looking for Langley. Uh, So the overall is just down here somewhere on the right hand side, just past the petrol station, a little bit further down. And the, yeah, there we go, R and W Langley. There we go on the right hand side. And that's that's exactly where I saw our trucks. So it looks like it's in there. So while we're here, let's have a quick look. It looks like we're getting down there. It was clear on the roundabout. That looks like the site entrance over there. Okay, brilliant. Now I know where that job is. Now I know where my third job is. Just there, on the left. Left of the roundabout, and then turn left into the gates. Brilliant. That is awesome. Unless, yeah, I expect I will be delivering in there. That would be a stockpile. And then they use these little dumpers to bring them back to wherever they need to be. Or actually, do I need to go into this one? That's an R&W as well. Oh, there's two, <laughs> there's two R&Ws. How did you get into that side? I would say it needs to go into the other one. But that looks like rubbish. That needs taken away. And the other one looks like an area for stockpile. So we will find out later, uh, but there's two compounds though. And uh, this one, it looks like you get in over there, but it does look a little bit tight. I'm definitely gonna go to that bottom compound first or top compound. Um, when we when we come back, because we'll be coming back from this way. So I'll go into the second one, not the first, because it looks like there's more room in there to spin round and come back round here if I need to, whereas if I drive in here, there's nowhere, nowhere to spin round, so I'll be reversing back out. So it's either drive in, reverse out, or reverse in, drive out. We'll have a quick look at the, uh, the gate as we go past. It's a double gate, I think, I'm not sure. Make sure the cars are clear in front of me. Yeah, so it's going it's to be one of them anyway. <laughs> That's good. At least we got that one sorted, kind of. Um, we've got to find our first job first. Right, let's go get loaded, and then we'll make our way to uh, to the first job. Okay, we are just getting loaded now with the seventy-five. Is it seventy? Yeah, 70, seventy-five to forty mil recycled. I think one more load will be done. So just double check in, that was the uh, 75 to 40 recycled, yeah? No worries mate, I've got to come back for some uh, wash ballast in a bit. All right mate, thank you very much, see you shortly. Right, so we are now loaded. Just got to go get weighed now and then uh, do the delivery. Uh, according to the sat nav, it's 25 minutes away where we're going. Uh, and it's taking us the way we want to go as well, so that's good. Um, like I said, uh, I googled the... Uh, actually, I don't know what I have said. <laughs> Losing track of what I've said. I've googled the place we're going to. It's a white cottage with a thatched roof. Um, quite a sizeable cottage by the looks of it. It's got a swimming pool in the back garden and everything. I know this because if you Google it, it comes up with all the images because it's for sale. Um, uh, yeah, so the instructions I've got was go down to the road and it's half a mile on the left. That's all I know. <laughs> so we've just got to look out for halfway cottage. You can be quiet. Halfway cottage, right. Let's get weighed. Come on, mate. Got a load of 75 to 40 millimetre uh, recycled on. Thirty-one seven hundred. Thank you very much. I'm just going to pull over to put the sheet on before we go. Bam, bam, bam. So yeah, we're going to be heading on to the 303, coming off uh, at Andover, go down towards Fullerton, Leckford, and then Stockbridge. And then we're going to bear right, 
uh, go through the high street and then onto the last road which is saying unnamed but there is an actual name to it can't remember what it is though <laughs> right let's crack on um i'll see you when we're uh, a little bit closer to this job and possibly going through that high street see you in a bit right 30 miles an hour stuck on bridge heart of the test valley heart of the test valley what does that mean i don't know what that means test valley <laughs> Never mind. Right, I'm gonna go right here. School lights are on, so be wary of kids. That's probably round there, I expect. Can't imagine it being round here, not on a high street. Huh. Have I been here before? That is the question. I've been to so many places now, like so many high streets and stuff, that they all merge into one, so... This is quite a cool high street, it's nice and wide. It reminds me of like, old school Wild West or something. <laughs> Pig roast, oh. By the way, apologies for the squeaking noise, it's the passenger seat, it just makes a lot of squeaking every time I go over a bump. Don't know why. This place definitely looks familiar. Definitely. I'm only doing 20. There's no need to do 30. 20 is plenty, as they say. Just make sure it's all clear. Oh, there's school lights on up here as well, so I will be careful for kids. We've got to make a right turn up here. What time is it? It's 10 past 8. So I can't imagine there'll be too many school kids walking around yet. So might have to be careful on the way out. Let's start indicating right because we want to go down here. Right, so the um, directions were to turn right down this down this lane here. Thank you very much. It does get narrow down here. And then apparently it's half a mile on the left. I might have trouble stopping to search. Like I might have to pull over and have a look, get out and have a walk. But I might struggle if it's too tight. I'm hoping they got a big old sign outside or something. Uh, Ellen build halfway cottage is what I'm looking for. And I know by looking at pictures that it's a white cottage with a thatched roof. With a swimming pool in the back garden. Not that I'm going to be able to see the swimming pool, but... Ooh, thought that car was coming down then. This is when anxiety starts to kick in. It's not too bad in a rigid, because you know you can get out of it a lot easier. I wouldn't want to bring an Arctic down here very well. All the cows there. So we're about half a mile up the road now, so it's going to be anywhere on the left. There is a turning here on the left. That goes up into a house and estate of some sort. No vehicles behind me. South side cottages. Ugh. I don't want to be taken out of there. I don't see a white one. I need a white one. I'm going to go a little bit further. So that now takes me a little bit further up going into the postcode. Aha, what's this sign say? Uh, Ellen build, that's what I want. Ellen! Ellen! Now there's halfway cottage there. Oh Jesus, how do I get in there then? Oh, it looks like I've got reversing. How am I gonna get out? Oh man, that's tight. Oh, that is very tight. I'm 100% gonna have to reverse in. Which means driving out and going down here. Where does that take me down there? It takes me into the village. I'm gonna have to find a turning or something to turn around in for everyone down. Anyway, put the beacons on. Um, I need to go speak to someone so they can let me in. See you in a bit. Okay, we are gonna be reversing in. I won't undo my sheet yet, there's a wire above me. I'll wait until I'm in sight. It's a little bit, <laughs> it is a little bit tight in there. 
and I'm definitely not going to be able to turn around. I'm going to have to drive on up there and find somewhere to turn around. Right, I will be quiet while I do this. fence right on the left hand side don't hit the house for god's sake Luke <laughs> okay that's something that's been it got some girders on the uh, on the floor I just tapped them and they fell over Pardon? Yeah, all right, mate, no worries. It's very tight to these girders down here. I won't be able to move that either. All right, one sec. Yeah, you've got plenty of room. Cheers, mate. Thing is, I need to swing it to the right, but I can't because the girders are there. So I just need to get a different angle. There we go. I will just check the lorry over before I leave as well, because I, I just tapped the girder and it fell over. So just want to make sure it wasn't the tire that hit it. Make sure I've got no tire damage. Load, this is they're big rocks. We're all the way up. That noise is so annoying, isn't it? And then we're going to hear a bang. That's it. There we go, there's the bang. Right, body down. I'm just going to get the paperwork signed and check the tyre slash damage, if there is any. Hopefully not. Ooh. Right. No damage. Let's get on out of here. I think he thought I was going to go right. There's no way I'm making that right turn, mate. Thank you very much. Yeah, there's no way I was making that right turn. 
Right, let's put my seatbelt on before we drive on too far. Let's uh, put in our next destination just in case this way does take us somewhere. Right. Vegan's off. Let's try and find somewhere to spin around. Ooh. That's a weak bridge over there. The way it's telling me to go, there's a weak bridge. I know this because I saw it coming from the other direction. Okay. So we need someone to turn around. Can't turn around there. Should be alright, there's a couple of options coming up. Could I turn around here? Yeah, I should be able to. Put the hazards on, where are they? There they are. We use this triangle as a turning circle by reversing down one end and driving out the other. Saves going down to the really narrow bit then. It was getting narrower down there by the looks of it. I can't come in that way, we're good. There we go, and then we can just drive out this side. Look, easy peasy. Hazards off, beacons on or off? Beacons are off. Clear left, clear right, clear left, clear right. There we go. Right, that's the first one done. Easy peasy. A lemon squeezy. <laughs> right, let's crack on and uh, go to the next one. There we go. That is the wash ballast on. Ugh. Let's go and deliver our second load of the day. I've got very hot, so I've changed out of my hoodie and put on a short sleeve hybrid because uh, just recently I've been wearing long sleeves all the time and. Uh, I don't know why, because I actually prefer wearing short sleeve. <laughs> get my arms out. <laughs> right, let's go get this weighed and then um, crack on to the second place. As I mentioned earlier, I do know roughly where it is because I have, well, I'm pretty sure I know 99% where it is because I have been to Vitacris a lot recently. Uh, but I've normally been picking stuff up, not dropping things off. So that's the only difference. But let's have make our way there. Go get away, put the sheet on, make our way there, and I'll see you when we're a little bit closer. Okay, we're nearly there now. It just gets a little bit tight if you come across like any large vehicles bigger than like an SUV. Um, oh, the amount of times my wing mirror has gone in on the passenger side as well, coming down up here, up and down here all day. It's a nightmare. And um, Arctic's come down here as well for the company we're delivering to. So you don't want to be meeting them. So I've met I've met one on that corner there, and uh, well, I haven't. Other cars have, and um, it's caused traffic either side. Um, it took a while to get get it all cleared up again. Got to go left here. There was an accident here not too long ago regarding a cyclist and a couple of cars. I think. Don't know what that was about. Uh -huh -huh. Go under this arched bridge, very tall arched bridge. Might get under it. <laughs> it's an amazing bit of like architecture, isn't it? Bridges like that. Why is it so high though? That's the question. It's a proper high bridge. Proper high. All right, let's go around here. Sometimes there's a lorry in the left lane. No, there isn't. That's good. Sometimes there's a lorry park there, a lorry park there, and you've got to squeeze through. And then this is Vitacrest here, but we want the HGV one. Hopefully we're going the right area. Like I said, this is where we were going last time. Better stop here then, let him out. Oh, he just pulled out in front of that car. Cheers, mate. He definitely just pulled out in front of that car. Did check his mirrors. 
Right, where are we going? Put my beacons on. Okay, I can see construction on the left, that's good. Uh, uh, uh. Answer. Hello there, I'm at the HGV entrance. Can I um, get in, please? I've got a delivery for Wood Mace. Of course. Thank you very much. Open sesame, excellent. There's a digger there saying wood mace, that's good. Right, question is, where do they want it? I'm going to have to get out and probably see them. I'll be reversing into that entrance there. I saw a couple of deliveries the other day go down there while I was getting loaded here. Um, as is on, I'll just undo the sheet while I'm here. And then I'll go see him. Right. He wants it. Uh, hang on, if I show you, it'll be easier, wouldn't it? Just wants it over there where he's moving that um, dumper truck now. So it's going to be a case of reverse, uh, sorry, driving over there, then reversing back in. Nice and easy. Let's put you back in. There we go. Put it in drive. Hopefully he's going to watch me back. There is a bit of a dip. So I'm a bit, I'm a bit cautious about the dip there because uh, I don't want to be leaning. Let's not hit any more iron girders. <laughs> right, there's no one watching me back. Where's my banksman? I'm not going any further until someone watches me back. I, um, I know someone who got banned from site the other day for reversing without a banksman. Dan, if you're watching. <laughs> yeah. He's telling me to go back, but it's like a little finger like that, and it's hard to tell. Okay, they want it there, that'll do good for me. Up we go, up we go. He's telling me to go forward to stop going up. No mate, I'm going all the way up. Excellent, right, let's go get this sign, check the back and we can be off. Thank you very much. I'll we'll just get a signature down there, mate. That'd be yeah. great. Thank you. You had a good day so far? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you, boss. No worries. Have a good day. Okay, second job of the day done. Let's put the paperwork there. Right. Now we're gonna go get reloaded with MOT type one now. Because that was wash ballast we just dropped off. Let's go get MOT type one and then take it to Tidworth, where we were looking at this morning. And then after that, 
I got nothing planned. Is that something coming in? I couldn't see. After that, there's nothing planned. It just says phoning office, so. <coughs> That's what we would do. Let's get this barrier open. <coughs> Beacon's off. That's clear. Yeah, it's no left turn look for trucks. So you have to go the way we came in. But it is blind. Ooh, didn't mean to beat the horn then, that was just a bump. <laughs> so yeah, there's something coming, so I'm not gonna pull out. I can see in my uh, my wide angle camera that there's stuff coming, or a van coming. Now there's a car coming that way. It's not the best junction. Clear left, clear right, clear left, clear right. Go, 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 go. Yeah, it's not the nicest of junctions to be fair, but you know, I don't mind. Right, let's go get our third load of the day and uh, go deliver that one. Okie dokie, we are just around the corner from our third drop. We are now loaded with Type 1 MOT. And uh, there's, another, there's another bloke on this as well. He's got um, 12 runs planned backwards and forwards all day. And I've got to phone the office after this run, so I suspect I'm going to be doing this the rest of the day. So after I've tipped this, this video is probably going to be ending. <laughs> um, we will see. Um, he's gave me rough, roughly where to go. It is in that second compound as I thought. I think that's where he said, but he said reversing. So he'll, um, he's probably just about to leave. We should see him in a sec. Yeah, he's there, let's see him now. Um, so yeah, fingers crossed we can go straight in. I will double check when he passes, if he's reversing it or not. So left at the roundabout and then reverse in, did you say, mate, yeah? Yeah, all right, mate. Sweet. Cheers for that. Yeah, no problem. What's that person doing? Apparently they might be on lunch, so I might have to wait until they move some out of the way. Because apparently there's no more room to tip. That's all right. Not a problem. Not a problem. But he's still saying reverse in. Yeah, I suppose it is a little bit tight now to turn around actually, think about it. Right, clear to the right. We want to go to the left here. We shall put the beacons on because we're going to be doing a, a roadside manoeuvre. Reversing in there. Okie dokie. Up the curb. There's no iron girdens here to it. Iron girdens? Girders. <laughs> Looks like a two point turn to get out as well. Is he gonna stop me? No, I don't think he is. Oh, yeah, he's telling me where to go. MOT type one, yeah? yeah. MOT type one, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, brilliant. 
You having a good day? Yeah, you. Splendid. <laughs> Monday. How you go, buddy? Cheers, mate. Oh, that's nice and easy. That's the paperwork done. Yeah, so um, I'll have to make a phone call in a minute. It looks like, we're, yeah, we're reversing in. They're telling us where they want it, so it's going to go in different places each time by the looks of it, because they're literally what we're delivering. They're um, flattening an outlet. Oops. That's the sheet done. Thanks, Dylan, you went a bit too far. Right, let's zip up. Bam, 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 bam. And pull forward. Oh, don't envy that Arctic, look. Look at that Arctic over there. See that Arctic, look. Ooh. He's got some tight reversing manoeuvring to do. Right, I'm just going to check the back quickly. Ugh. Oh yes, lots of rocks on the back of this now. It will be with this sort of stuff. Anyway, that's all off. Yeah, I had, I had a lot of rocks on the uh, the bore bar on the back. That's why you check to make sure it's clear. Right, I need to make a phone call. Okay, phone call is made and we are done for the day. Wow, <laughs> you're done for the day. This video is done for the day. We're on this for the rest of the day now, so, um, yeah, there's no no point really showing you it again and again and again, is there? So I don't want to do that. I don't want, I don't want my videos to be boring. So I'm going to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. I just need to try and get out of here now. It's, like I said, it's not going to be done in one smooth action. We're going to have to uh, do a three-point turn. That's one turn. That's two turns, back on the kerb, and then three turns. Oh, there's like, there's power steering in this, but there's not like a lot. The Scandias move so much better, and I am definitely gonna be parking up here for break, I think. Yeah, <laughs> 100%. Right, <laughs> right, let's get out of here a sec, let's get around this roundabout. It's gonna be a nightmare getting out of here. Let's turn the beacons off. No one's, no one's going to let me out of here. Probably take longer getting out of here than it does to actually tip the thing. Like, that car's going left, but can I make it? Yeah, I'm going to make it. He's going left as well. Brilliant. And he is. Yeah. Right, thanks for watching. I uh, do appreciate it, really do appreciate it. Uh, until next time, drive safe, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.